I just want to um put this video up real quick. I'm tired as hell. I'm trying to go to sleep, but I, I, I saw the video that I put up. It made it through. I didn't know it was going to make it through because I, I thought it was taking too long. So I unplugged the camera. I was about to go to sleep. But then I see like the comments and, you know, the um I feel like I'm being embraced from people and stuff. But um I just wanted to let this be known. I figured it might be entertaining to some people. Back in speaking about this bone thug shit, back in um two thousand and two, two friends that I rap with, they met True Life. You know, True Life, um with Jay Z, La Rock La Familia. In Newark, New Jersey, in, in you know what I'm saying, in my city on a bus, on a New Jersey transit. True Life was on a bus talking about Busy Bone, how like he bought a house or something somewhere. And then um, my friends was like, oh, what happened about Busy Bone? So they was like, oh, what you know about Bone? You know, this and that. They, they started, they said we rap, whatever, kick something for him. He liked it. He came, um, he came to our neighborhood, gave him a CD full of beats, took him to the studio in New York, and was talking about getting him getting us a um, record deal with Busy Bones Records or Crazy Bones Records and I still got the song one of the songs we did like th two or three songs I still got them I put one on the YouTube actually one is up there it's called um, No Enemies that's the one of the beats that True Life gave us but anyway um, he took them to the studio and all that and I didn't meet them they met them I was working and shit, you know what I'm saying? And they 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 didn't tell me until after, like, oh, you was working so much, this and that. Knowing damn well I'm the most responsible one, and I would have still had the number. I would have never lost it, because they lost his number or whatever. And he called my um friend's house one day, but he was sleeping, and his mom was like, oh, you got to call back, this and that. He was like, all right. But then his phone's, my friend's phone gets disconnected, so it's crazy. And, and then here's the killer, because fucking... This is back in 2002. I was working at Pathmark in Belleville, a city over, and they said he stayed in Belleville, like on a border around there somewhere. Now, I used to always see this dude come in, tall dude, light skin, long ass braid, tattoos, buying, he used to buy big packs of diapers, and they said, my friend said he had a lot of kids and shit, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I didn't know that that was him until like years later, because I got a computer, so I finally got to a computer and searched it and you know, thought about it one day. Let me see what it looked like. And I said, this motherfucker was coming to Pathmark. So I'm like, damn. That was the same time when he met my friends. I go back to Pathmark. I'm not working there no more. But I go back. I'm seeing people who still work there. Like, yo, you saw that dude you like? You know who he is? They're like, yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. So then um, I said, oh, if you see him, my friends met him. You know, give him my number, this and that. Tell him it's about music and you know, so I'm I'm always like hoping hoping to see him. You know, I'm like damn if I if I see him I could just explain to him this and that. And this is like um when he came up with that new New York. You know, this is when he started to progress with his career. So um anyway, you know it's it's fucking crazy. Like and he was he was telling us way before fucking he blew up. He was like yeah I'm in that Busy Bone video father. When Busy Bone is getting out the car, I'm going to show you right here. I got the um video. That's Busy getting out the car. That's True Life right there. Uh, that was True Life right there with the um braids looking like that. You know what I'm saying? So he told him that was like around that time when that video came out. Maybe six months to a year later after the video came out that they met him. So, um... Just imagine, like, if my friends would have never lost his number and all that, you know, they, I guess, you know, they do a lot of drugs, party, like, rock stars and all that, whatever. But it fucking, it, it just seems like opportunities are given to people who don't really want it that bad, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's like the fucking hungry ones like me got to fucking struggle the hardest to fucking get somewhere in life or whatever. But I'm still, you know, a little upset about it to this day, but I'm still cool with my dogs because... You know, I love him and all that, but, like, I just always, like, stress that to him. Like, damn, I lived right across the street from him. You know what I'm saying? Like, right across the street. You act like you couldn't 